Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Warland 3. I am Spinning X in post commentary, actually, because for whatever reason, my audio files just messed up and just like. Mm, 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 mm. I'm not even quite sure if you can hear what that is. But in this part, I'm actually not quite sure what we're doing. I think we're just looking around for the red key, is it? I don't know, I think I. At this point, I'm thinking, like, I can't crack go through that wall, even though it's not a wall, it's actually just an empty space. And then at this point, I'm just like, whoa! Whoa! There, 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 I can get over here? Okay, but I still can't get by there, because there's this thing in the way. How unfortunate, and... Yeah. So, I get, yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go, Warrior. Good job. Good job. Good job, Matt. You managed to find out where you're supposed to be going. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened. I guess I'm just drawing my head post-commentary, though, because I can't exactly get it back. And just trying to make my way around this cave thing. It's just like, what the fuck? Where am I going? It doesn't exactly tell you where you're supposed to go because you can't see it. And that just happens. But there's the other side. I'm like, no, there must be something different. There must be something different about this. I must have to. And I'm trying to get back here at this point. Because I want to hit this and go up. And I will finally see the key. But I will not know what I'm doing because... Wall. Yeah. That's a problem, because I cannot pick up this guy yet. So I'm just like, eh, can I pick up? No, I can't even get that. I can't get across. Well, hmm. This is awkward, and I go back out. And, yeah, so. I guess I might as well tell you guys a story. I mean, I'm not really doing anything important. I'm gonna eventually figure out that I can get to the other side through this. Like, there's a coin, but I'll eventually figure out that I can get to the other side without having to throw that and break it. Like, here, here I'm starting to do already. Anyways, I was at a uh, drive-in for the first time, and, um, not the first time, first time in memory. Because apparently my father brought me to one at some point, but I ended up going with a bunch of my sister's friends. And we saw Brave and the Avengers, and there's that key. Yay! And, yeah, the, really, the only real reason you'll want to, um, need to pick that guy up to break it over so you can bring the guy over to that side so you can jump on top of him, and yeah. But, yeah. Both good movies, Pixar is exactly what you actually expect with like the cutesy, still good movie kind of thing of all ages, doesn't really matter if you're some old horror movie junkie or country western dude, it's it's still a good movie. And then Avengers, probably the, um, probably the best, ah uh, yeah, probably the best superhero movie I've seen. I mean, I haven't really liked a lot of them anyways, but yeah, I can't go over there yet, stop trying to do that. You should actually know where the chest is, because it's in the same place as every other time. Alright. Good boy. Um... Yeah, so I went there, and... So between the movies... I'm a guy, as you can probably tell. And... I'm not very used to very long lines. And between the movies, there's this insanely, insanely large line. And at the boys' bathroom, I'm just like, you know what? I, I, I am a guy, I do not need a bathroom. So I walked into the woods, I went there, and then I want hand sanitizer because I'm not that, 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 I'm not that disgusting. Jeez, I don't want, I do have to wash my hands. But, yeah, so then I just walked to the front of the voice bathroom line, and I just walk in and wash my hands and walk out, and everyone's just looking at me like, why do you walk into the bathroom just to wash your hands? I'm just like, because I am just a bam. That's what I am, a bam. A badass motherfucker. <laughs> that probably sounds really weird, me saying that. And I'm still not like, quite sure what I'm doing right here, because that's the silver chest, or the grey chest, or whatever you want to call it. I prefer grey, because it's the lowest set, but I don't know why it's the silver the first time. Actually, that I do, because I've been going through these, uh, past videos, and, like, going through the tags, and... I think an easier way to get between episodes and stuff like that, just for convenience. And there you go, Warrior. That wasn't that hard, was it? Yeah, so then... When everyone was leaving, because there was like the double feature thing, it was like I was watching Avengers, and uh... We were actually staying to watch Avengers, because I wanted to see it, I hadn't seen it yet. But people were leaving, driving in front of us, and I tried to wave to every single one of them. And none of them wanted to wave. You, you'd be surprised how little people, how few people actually, how few people would like to wave back at someone, and just like waving me like, Bye, have fun, go get drunk or whatever you're gonna be doing, or you have kids, so go to bed. Actually, a lot of them didn't have kids, because so I think the kids would have waved. But it, it was a very sad moment in my life, until the end of the movie, actually, where someone drove in front of us, and I waved, and they had to stop, because it started getting, getting actually uh, pretty busy on the way out. And I just sat there, and I smiled at them, and I just kept waving, and I was like, hey, wave back, wave back, wave back, wave back. 
and Warrior is waving actually right now. I kind of, I kind of love the uh, waving theme right now because beneath the waves, we're swimming through this current of waves, kind of ish, and then waving. Yeah, but he eventually waved back, and I just flipped out because we well, flipped out in a good way, not in a bad way, because I was just very happy about that because. I had to wave to over 50 cards or something like that. It was pretty ridiculous. And my sister was criticizing me and laughing at me every time that. Every time that it actually. What are you doing? Okay. I know exactly what to do, so this is kind of bothering me that I have to watch this and. Like, know that I'm not doing it right. Because I believe this is the green key. I believe, yeah. I think that makes sense. Because I've already gone through the crevice. Uh, Fisher thing. So I'm going to realize that, and I'm going to go back. Well, I'm going to check up here first. I don't even know why. So all of it is the same, like, the same damn thing. I just go across here, get set on fire, and then just run around, run around, run around. Yeah. Not really all that important. <sighs> but yeah, there, she was just laughing every time. Man, then it did happen, and she was just like, wow, someone actually waved at you. I'm like, yes, someone actually waved at me. Don't judge. Don't judge. It's not very nice. Can mm. you get there yet, please? Oh, oh, you finally realized it? Did you finally get it? You kind of went on top of that, but what? that's weird, but I can't believe you just got yourself sudden fire. Jeez, I do not remember playing this. Oh, my God. Because at this point in the post commentary, I'm actually. I'm actually done with the game. What is this, episode 17? There are 32 parts. And. Uh, read into that as much as you want. I was just letting you guys know, just because. I don't know, just because. I just wanted to bring it up. <sighs> and how long is this? This is a 15 minute episode, and I've already ran out of things to talk about. Uh, well. I can't do that, because I already did that when I was ranting the other day. Um... I am... I am not quite sure to do anymore. Actually, I can laugh at me to finally do this. Because I actually have to go through this, like, three times. Well, that's a spoiler, but whatever. It's, you basically have to get up here, you have to, like, run over quickly and jump up. And it's a little obnoxious, because... Uh, I've just never liked these little em em enemy things. Em em en en enemy, an enemy, an enemy, an enemy, an enemy. Yeah, if you say an, an enemy and try to say an enemy like ten times fast, it's like an enemy, an enemy, an enemy, an enemy, an enemy, and it's a little harder to say. But if you say an enemy, yeah, and oh my god, this owl, this is going to be funny. I'm starting to start laughing before I finish what I'm talking about. But yeah, if you say an enemy, yeah. Then you see an enemy, 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 an enemy. It rolls off the tongue a little bit more because of the stress on the end. As opposed to an enemy. You see an enemy, an enemy, an enemy. And then you get the stress at the end. So it's not really, uh, it's easier to do. Or at least this is how I'm going to explain it. I don't know, it's just something I've always liked doing because I've always felt that those tongue twisters that are kind of hard to say, they're just like, uh, it's usually based on where the stresses are and, uh, repeating stresses and stuff like that, so if you can just rearrange them, but then you can make them sound like you're actually saying them, like Nanamiya. If you say it twice in a row, you hear the Nanamiya, na. So the Nanamiya, 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 Nanamiya. And I don't know, I've said it so many times, but whatever. And let's see if I can actually get there, because I already got the key, right? I just got the key. I wasn't exactly paying attention. But yeah, if you drop down right here, basically you'll get down here, and it'll drop you off. Basically, an easier way to get out of it, but you shouldn't have done that. In fact, you should have gone back to the other pipe just so I could have gone back down that and not had to go and do this thing actually again. But unfortunately, I did not know that, and instead, <sighs> oh, because I'm yawning. I shouldn't be yawning, it's like 1 30, but fun, yes, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, for, for all of the dumb enemies in this game. A lot of them do have their purpose, a lot of them are interesting in their own way. This is actually an interesting mechanic that I really like. I'm not sure if I've talked about this or if i talked about it later, but I'm talking about it now, so deal with it. So if you'd like to get up there, yeah. I just, I'm just not a big fan of it though, it just bothers me. Because it seems a little bit too sensitive. And here's our chest, let's see what's inside of it. 
It is a a a a a. It's a telephone. Uh, oh, I remember what I was gonna do the first time. I was gonna quote Lady Gaga, but I tried to quote Lady Gaga and I completely forgot about that song. And to this day, I do not remember it. Uh, I don't know where we're going anymore. Actually, we're going somewhere. Um, huh. I guess we're going to the Tower of Revival. I don't know if that's the only thing I could beat this part in five minutes, but I'm pretty sure I do, so I guess I'm just confident in something. And as always, I couldn't do it on my first try, but I actually got pretty close. Never mind. This is my third try now, is it? I think it's my third try right here. So let's go. I'm pretty sure that like resets it. Uh, I messed it anyway, so I guess it didn't matter to do that. Um, of course, the longest one we do is when I post commentate it. Oh well, you can't exactly post commentate setting torches on fire. And as you're post commentating in Zelda game. But then it's uh, kind of expected. Set torches on fire to open a door, and that's so Nintendo. And good job, boy. You realize it's a little bit faster. And where are we going again? I think he realized that we have the thing in the uh... Is it the building vines? Oh no. In fact, I think it is the building vines, but I completely forgot about knocking this other thing over. So I kind of just like, climb back over here and drop down and thank the lord that I did not have to... That I did not have to do that puzzle again. Uh, I don't want to say thank the lord, I'm not really religious in any sense, but whatever. I mean, there is an overarching god figure thing that is power sucked away in the temple in uh, this game, so I guess I can say thank him. I can say. Eh, I'm not gonna spoil it, no. Um, let's climb up here, and I'm not sure if I showed you guys the first time, but up here is this uh, tube, this uh, pipe that you can jump up, and you couldn't exactly do anything before, but now you can. So now we're just gonna climb around this. We're gonna avoid these guys. And I think I'm gonna start killing them, which is a stupid idea. Because if you just ground pound them, they're dead. But I'm gonna need them, but I just fell down again. I can't believe what happened. Oh my gosh. Not even any scenery I can talk about. I can talk about the music, but that's always like the backup thing. It's like, oh well, the music is so good, but the music is so annoying and repetitive, and I'm actually not a big fan of this track, but. There's another snake eye door. There's some coins. Oh, uh, yeah, I go. So if you can understand that, oh, it's down here. Well, surprise, surprise, on right here is the key. So we have to get fat and do that. And I'm just like, oh, crap, I've been killing stuff. Well, I think I only killed one thing at this point, but... It'll take me a little bit of effort to try to figure out where somebody is. Ah, uh, don't get hit, yep. And don't get hit by him, because you, you will not help you. Actually, I think I'm trying to figure out what's all the way over here first. And I think it's just with the chest, right? Yep. So I'm gonna try to get hit by this guy to drop down. And I'm not sure if I'm successful or not. I think I am, actually. Boom. That that was actually rather impressive. I mean, you can't do anything once you break through it, because then you just jump around uh, at the mercy of whatever decides to come by you that can actually touch you, because usually they can't touch you. So now we climb back up and we do up. I fell. It happens. Um, and I'm. I realized I can actually go faster. Oh my god, I'm not again. Whoa. Ugh. I guess I'm boring myself, so sorry if I'm boring you guys too. But at least this gameplay you haven't seen before, so I guess it should be alright. Yeah, I realized I can go faster climbing up when you, like, jump. Especially with. Do I have a high jump? I don't know. Um. I don't know, I've been doing a lot of editing too, so. I don't remember how to edit that episode yet. Spoiler. <laughs> Well, I'm just, I'm just not doing a good job right now. Alright, let's get back over here and... I fell again, see? It's just not going well. It's actually not that long of an episode, or an episode, it's not that long of a, of a quest, let's call it that. It's not that long of a quest, but... It's still giving me a little bit of trouble just because of the exactness and just a little bit of patience that's, patience that's required for me to do it. But of course, since I'm not the most patient of people, I do not, I'm not very virtuous. I am. Um, you like to? Okay, there you go. And we're almost there. Don't get hit by that guy. Okay. 
And we have gone to the green chest, and what is what lies inside of it? Is it like one eye or something? I don't remember. It is a. It's a map. It's a map time. Map time. Map time. Map time. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's a reference or not. Cause I am fairly certain that either backpack time or map time that's that song Dora the Explorer. But oh my gosh, I cannot see the screen because it fell asleep too. Holy crap. Well, um, I think we're just gonna walk over to the east crater and just sit there. And at this point, this is the time when I say, you know, thank you guys so much for watching. And next part should be a. Alright, with normal commentary, so I guess I'll see you guys then. Bye now.